Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make edit form in React. As you can see in this table, if I click on edit and change the object and click on update, it will be updated. Let me show you how you can implement it. First of all, you need a React app and you need a component to implement all these logics. Let's create a component and let's import React. Export a function export default function, the name of the component, which is editable. And then the return body. All right, we need a list for our data. Let's create it. Let it be a little women. It's an array. And each object has two fields, for example, a name and an age. Let me copy this and change the data. All right. Now let's create a state to store this data. Let's create it. Let's name it list and set list is a use state. And the initial value is this array, little women. All right. Now let's display this state inside the table. Let's go to return body and create a container and inside the container create a table with class of table great our table will have a table head inside which there's a table row and the headers one for the name and another header for age. All right, let's create our table body. Mm -hmm. Table body would be actually a value which we're going to send to our table row. Let's say a list. And we're going to use map function dot map parenthesis and here we need an arrow function and the arguments would be item and i which you know i is the index item is the object and inside the body of this arrow function we will return a table row and don't forget to specify the key inside the row and table data inside the table row would be item name and another table data for item age. Let's import our component inside app.js, import editable and create a tag of it inside return. Great, as you can see, our data is displayed on the table. All right, next thing I want to do is to create an edit button for each object. So let's create the table header first for the edit. And then here we need a button with the class of btn, btn warning, and edit. All right, take a look. Great. So the next thing I want is that when I click on edit, I want to have input fields. So they are filled with this object when I click on edit. Let's implement it. Let's create our input tags give it a class of input group and 
with a bit of margin and don't forget to give it a name and since it is for the field name let's give it name and the one for age the same class and the name would be age all right and next thing to do is to create state for our inputs let's say input data and set input data would be a use state which has two fields name and age and both of them would have initial value of empty string all right and set the value of the input to this uh, to the state value and set the unchange method and the same unchange method for age let's implement it function data change we'll get event as the argument and inside it we'll set the input data state to input values now this is how we can actually get an instance of our input data state and then set etarget.name which is the input data uh, which is the input data to etarget value which is the input character you know whatever it is yeah as you can see it's working let's also add some placeholder for each of our inputs name would have a placeholder name and age would be age all right better uh, next thing I want is that when I click on edit an instance of this object would be here inside that, inside my inputs so let me add an unclick button here let's give our unclick method a name something like you know mm, edit data which gets uh, you know we need to keep track of the index because we need to know which element of the state uh, should be instanced all right so it will get the index as an argument so let's implement edit data scroll to the top and function edit data and here we will have we will have a field of name and age which is equal to the ith element of our list which is a state of the data and then set the input data value to this field name and age let's set it all right refresh the page as you can see the input fields are filled with the value of our object all right next thing to do is to create a submit button so whenever i want to change it is updated let's give it a class something like btn primary and the margin a little bit give it set the text and update and the unclick method would be something like update state all right let's implement update state it's going to be a function inside which we will you know create an instance of our list since we're going to change it let's call this instance updated list it will be a copy of the list state and then we're going to apply some function called splice on this updated list to update it let's call it splice but you know splice uh, needs the index of the element so it can actually update it 
but you know we have the index but inside another function so you know let's create a state for the index so we can access it here let's say index and set index is a use state great and here uh, we should apply set index to set our index to i, which is the current object's index. All right. And here we can actually apply index inside our space. And the second argument would be one. Whenever we update it, it will be one. And the value would be, you know, name and age, the new name and age, actually. Uh, let's also create a field of name and age, which is uh, our input data. Let's say red name and age. And set it to whatever our input data is. You know, updated values are inside our input data, so it will make sense. All right. Next thing to do is to call set list and fill our list with this updated list. All right, let's try. Let me change it, update. And yeah, as you can see, it is changed in the table, it's updated. Beautiful. This is how we can actually, you know, uh, make an edit form inside React. And uh, that's all, hope you learn how to create edit forms and let me know if you had any questions in the comment section down below and thanks for watching.